So welcome back everybody. So today's plan is to build a furnace that takes gas as an input and smells our ores that way. So that's going to be useful to make some advanced ingots such as steel or electrum, solder and all that other good stuff. So to build it it's really easy. All we need is a kit which is in here in the other lathe. Uh, it's the furnace. So for that we need 30 iron and 10 copper. Thankfully I've got a little bit of stuff already um, smelting. I'm going to just exchange the gold that's still in here. Since we only need 10 of those. So we can also stack these. Let's see. Okay, well, that's smelting. We can simply reactivate our beacon. Just like this. Check in on our battery. Actually, we can put this one here. So just like this. Right, so this should have smelted 10. Yes, it did. So let's take out the iron, of which we only need three. Cool. So that's this done. Let's just finish smel smelting the copper since we need a bit of uh, of that. So just feed everything into the auto lathe. And now we should be able to print it. Yes, we do. So, while that's smelting and producing, I think I'm gonna go and mine a little bit, um, a bit more resources, just so that we are good on uh, on everything we need. Alright, so I've mined a few ores that uh, are going to come in handy later on in the smelting process. So for now we can uh, start building up the uh, the furnace in the system. Also, um, mind you that these two ores, which are volatiles and oxide, have to stay either in your mining belt or in your backpack since they will ev evaporate once they are in your hands. So always keep them in a mining belt. So. I've got the kit right here. We can simply build it um, next to our base. So just rotate it to your liking. I like the ores coming from the right and uh, the ingots to come out of the left. So we can just place it down. And we still need to um, weld it. So let's just get out our tools. Nice. So I've also lost my screwdriver. That's not good. But well, doesn't matter. So next thing we're gonna need is when you look at this furnace, there are two pipes on the back side. One is the output and one is the input. So in my case the right is the input, the left is the output. What we are gonna need is simply put a pipe on this output, connected to a valve and to a passive vent, so that it doesn't explode once we have reached critical pressure. So to do that, we can use uh, some parts we have in uh, in our crates, and simply connect everything up. So we are going to get this pipe down. Here, I'm going to put the valve. So I'm going to put this one further, and here I'm going to place down the passive vent. So for a passive vent we only need um, iron, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, we need three iron, which we should have enough of. So let's just go and smelt some real quick. Let's just print one. Press C so that it automatically snaps to the grid. And there we go. So just take the valve, place it down, make sure it's closed for the first steps, and we're good to go. So the furnace requires um, us to um, make specific mixes and to have a gas input. So it's actually really easy 
the since um, we can achieve both of those um, with those two uh, ores that we have mined, which are gases in, ga um, in ice form. So, I'm going to show you now the um, uh, a few recipes for uh, the different ores. So for that, uh, you can go on the, the, the wiki of the game. And just, uh, I'm going to link everything down uh, in the description so that you can access it. So you can have a really good reference point. So, the ones we are interested in right now are Steel, Electrum, Inva, Constantan, and Solder. So the those four are really going to be the ones that are going to drive us forward from now on, especially Steel. For that you need, there's the recipe, so your, your ores. And then next to them uh, are also pressure requirements and temperature requirements. So these can all be achieved with two oxides and four volatiles in one go. So, for example, now that I've placed everything down, I simply need to check that the valve is closed, so that's good. It's empty. If you hover over the, this pressure um, gauge, you can see uh, how much pressure and temperature there is in it. So to do that, we're going to try to smelt some steel. So let's just take the correct recipe, which is 150 uh, iron for 50 coal. So just split two oxides, put them into the furnace. So it's important that you do that at night, since at, uh, during the day the oxides would smelt directly in your hand. Press twice on the activate button so that it smelts them. And four volatiles. Now just press activate once again, and you can see the pressure has risen and the temperature too. Simply put your ores inside now, and you see that the temperature drops too, as well as the pressure. So, just keep on going, adding everything. And once we add the last reagent, here we can see what's inside currently. We should see that we can put some, uh, do some steel. So simply open the, the mold, and here goes out the steel. So now if you're wondering, what if you wanted to do another ingot? Simply close up everything, open the vent, let every gas out of the furnace, and then we can start the procedure once again. So let's say we wanted to craft some Electrum. For that we need one gold for one silver. Simply take out gold. I had some silver laying around. Yes, here we have. Let's see if it's stabilized. Just need to wait a little bit. So I think we, we're good to go. So let's just close this valve again. Split two oxides, put them in. Activate twice. And four volatiles. So you can see they smelt rather instantly, simply because the furnace is already hot from the previous smelts. Now we can simply add the gold, which is going to smelt so much faster than, um, than in the arc furnace. And the silver. So if you've got a lot to smelt, I suggest you do it this way. And now, if we check, we don't have um, any uh, any electrum showing. That's because the pressure is too high. We uh, need to have a max of 2.4 megapascals. So all we need to do is open the valve until we reach those 2.4. So let's check if we have. Nope, it's still a bit too high. And now we should be able to craft some electrum. Alright, that was the electrum. Now let's see. Let's try to do some inva. That's one iron and um, one nickel. So I should, in theory, still have enough iron left. Um, oh, that's going to be a bit critical. So I think what I'm going to do real quick is just finish mining a bit more iron. Oh, wait. I have something behind here. So let's just do it that way. So I've got 9 as an ingot already. 
So what I need to do now is check the first the pressure requirements. Okay, those should be... Oh no, we need a lot of pressure. Alright, so just empty the furnace once again. So there's still a little bit of pressure inside. So we need to empty it too because once uh, the oxides and the uh, volatiles uh, have combusted, there's a lot of CO2 and other nasty stuff that gets um, that gets produced, and we don't want that inside of the, uh, the furnace since it would uh, ruin every other smell we try to do. So now just close it up again. We can activate it. So now. I think we can try and smelt everything. Alright, so here you see we didn't put enough oxides and volatiles in, so that means we need to put more in. So what we can do is either try it this, this way and just add some some more doubling the effective load. Now you see we have more than enough pressure and we just need to get it in between 6 and 7 megapascals. So let's open it once up. So here we should be able to craft some inva. Yes we do. And here we go. 100 grams of inva. Alright, so that's this done. Now we should be able to craft some constantan which is copper and nickel. So here we have no nickel left. So um, I've mined. <laughs> so I've been looking for nickel all day long, and um, I finally found some. So we can empty the furnace once again, which is now cold. And once that's done, we can finish with the two last ingots. So I just close this up. Can actually drop these two. No, simply put the oxide in and the four volatiles. Activate it and now it's on. So for Constantin we need copper and nickel in equal amounts. So I've got both of these actually in my inventory already. So let's just drop in the copper, which is going to smelt slowly. Here we go, and now the nickel, and we should get the correct mix. Yes, here we go, constant time. There we go. Here's the third one. And now the last one would be solder, which is one iron for one lead. This one is actually super easy to produce, since um, it doesn't require at all a high temperature. And just drop in the lead. And actually, I think we've got. Too much pressure right now. Yes, it should be 3.5 megapascals. That's a bit too much. Yes, here we go. And here you have it. All the four ingots you can craft, or the five ingots you can do with the advanced furnace, which is using some gas. So, this is going to be very helpful um, for building um, the next. Um, next oh, this is going to be very helpful to advance in uh, in building our our base. So what I'm going to do now to finish off this episode is build a tool manufactory which is going to allow us to build some nice tools such as the advanced tablet, the um, advanced mining drill, as well as the um, ground uh, scanning radar which is going to tell us um, directly where which ores are. So how, how much do we need for that? 5 grams of copper. Okay, so we should have everything already. Okay, cool. 
more iron still. And while we do that, we can already build a, a cartridge for the new tablet, which is called the Ore Scanner. Yes. So for that we need gold, iron, both of which we should have in here. Let's just exchange these two. and print out the cartridge. Cool. So let's do some inventory management as well. Just drop off every all we have. Also the, uh, the sheets we don't need at the moment. And maybe process some more iron. All right, here we go. We have the two manufacturing. You can simply place it down next to the hydraulic pipe bender. Maybe correctly, not one back. So now the wrench is required. All right, place it down here. Get the correct sheets. And the welding torch, if I'm not mistaken, as well as cable coils. Oh. Four of those. So it's basically the same recipe for each and every machine. Print some more just to connect it. Also, if if you press Alt, you can drag and drop every item onto your your hands. Okay, this should be enough. Yes, we do. All right, now I have no power left. <laughs> Just switch up the generator and we should have power. Cool. So now, since we're in here, we can build, which is called the, where is it? Mining drill heavy. So this is pretty much going to require each and every ingot we have smelted before, but it's going to help us tremendously in our adventures. So. We need electrum, solder, steel. I think it was invar we still needed. Yes. So let's just print that out real quick. And switch this off. Put this in here. And with a beautiful sun rising. Alright, here we go. Let's just switch it out with our normal drill. Switch the batteries too. And now we have a drill that's much faster and can drill out every ore much quicker. Alright, so I think I'm going to finish the episode right here. And next episode we go, are going to start um, on the greenhouse so that we can get some food going. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, see you next episode.